Dating is very complicated, and PAIL, a new organization, put together a panel to help the New York community learn more about different methods to enhance their dating experience. Let's take a closer look. That everyone's like taking an active interest, and I think that if there's the most important thing, I think I, I really focus on the dating side of things, meaning like you know like everyone wants to find that the one and there's this fantasy that you know the one's going to knock on our door and they're going to be on a white horse or in a beautiful gown and you're just going to know and that's going to be that and you're going to like have babies and just be so happy forever and ever and unfortunately that's not true like if we if we looked at snow white and like the end of it where like they go up happy ever after like snow white too they would have been divorced <laughs> you know they, they never tell you that um you know so i think one of the things that's really important too when we're looking for somebody is to start getting specific like i i was uh, talking to a client the other day and i said well what do, what do you want in, in, in a woman and he says well i want someone really pretty who accepts me for who i am and i was like okay um well, that says absolutely nothing to me. Like, I, you know, for those of you who are online dated, you might know that a lot of the profiles for like guys and for girls say the exact same thing for like what they're looking for. Guys are looking for somebody laid back, witty, smart, beautiful on the inside and out, who likes relaxing with the movie and also enjoys going out. And girls are looking for someone, you know, nice, caring, fun, a little spontaneous, but you know, uh, successful. You know, like it's, it's all the same. Like we need to start getting specific. And I think what's really important when it comes down to this is, um, and this is what I really focus on with with clients is who are you like who what's your personality what what do you need to be fulfilled like what are your um your deal breakers and your deal makers like you might be really 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 anally neat and like you know you're going after guys who are like really messy and that might seem like such a small thing but if anyone has ever had a roommate who was really messy and they were really neat or the other way around they know that that's just like not happening like ever um and you know so it's, it's really getting specific about who you need in order to be complete and 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 how to start looking for that person so like for example um you know let, let's take this guy from the other night right he's looking for you know these gorgeous girls who are like kind of very full of themselves and he's actually a pretty sensitive soul, a little bit insecure, really needs somebody to really be nurturing towards him. He's going for the exact type, like wrong type of girl. And that, if we go to dating burnout, I think a lot of dating burnout doesn't happen because we're going on so many dates. I think it's because it's repeatedly being like, oh my God, like, you know, I, I thinking that, I, okay, excuse me for, you know, every girl thinks, like girls all think all guys are jerks and guys all think girls are crazy. I, I mean, this is like what it comes down to. And so that, right? Like you hear this over and over again. And like, I think and the, what this bridges into, and this is the other thing, is appreciating gender differences. Has anyone ever read Men Are From Mars, Men Are From Venus by John Gray? Yeah, we talk about that a little bit. So, you know, and the idea is that, you know, we also can write people off because women and men are different species and that's kind of john gray's hypothesis is that we like are from two different planets and we need different things and like evan in an evolutionary sense like men need to feel like respected and powerful and admired and women really need to feel um they need to feel taken care of and uh and and cared for and nurtured and supported and a lot of our conflicts come where we don't recognize that there is that divergence between what just the basic woman's wants are and the basic man's are without even getting into the whole personality and specifics so um you know we have to understand that we can't write people off also because they're just not a woman i mean if you're not looking for a female partner and you're a woman like you're looking for a man and men do have different needs and wants and ways of behaving and i think that something else that we were talking about which i love this question like should you go for someone that you uh cha changing you know that um you you need to change or and you know it, it it ends up being not about changing somebody it it you go for your specifics you figure out what the most important things are to you in a partner because you can't have everything that's the other thing like prince charming doesn't exist like your snow white doesn't exist like there are going to be things you don't like about this person and then you know it's kind of going from there um and you know saying saying to yourself how can we instead of thinking changing somebody you you pick somebody with 
things that you don't really need drastically changed because those are just those are called your deal breakers. Those are things that will never change. But it's not about changing someone, it's about growing with them. And that I think is the really big difference in what we were talking about is recognizing that it's not about, you know, necessarily changing, it's about respecting and listening and growing and understanding the different perspectives of men and women and the different dynamics of your personalities and how can we grow together, not change each other, because that's like kind of an accusatory way. Um, so that's my brief, um, my brief synopsis, what I wanted I want to say, and I'll hand it back to you. As you can see, it was a fantastic event. We learned a lot about dating and different methods to enhance one's relationship. This is Aaron Herman, and thank you for watching.